Hi, my name is Jennifer Lepore, Online Education Manager here at Artist Network, and we are here in the Artist Network TV studios today with Ann Abgott. Nice Hi, Jennifer. You. Hello. Thank you for having me. You are very welcome. And we've been filming with Ann. Today we did a video on Daring Color, and we also did a video on mingling wonderful, colorful shadows on a wall. So I think that um, you guys should check that out. But in the meantime, I wanted you to know a little bit more about Anne. And I myself wanted to know a little bit more about how you even got started with an interest in art, and then specifically how you got started becoming so interested and so wonderful in the way that you work with watercolors. It's been fun to watch. Yeah. I was born in Canada, and um, my mother had a very dear friend that was an oil painter. She was pretty well known. Her name was Margaret McLaughlin. And um, she was part of the Painters 11, which is a very famous group in Canada. And she used to, um, she mentored me a little bit and we used to go out, I used to go outside plein air and paint in oils. And um, I did that for a number of years and till I was in high school. And I had a wonderful um, high school art teacher that mentored me. And she encouraged me. And then I went to college, got married, and had kids, and didn't paint again until 1992. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, wow. And how did you go from oils into watercolor? I was living in Florida, and one of the ladies in the apartment said to me, would you like to take a watercolor class? And I said, yeah, I'll do that. So we started, and um, she quit after the second class, and then I just became totally obsessed and went back to Buffalo, where I was living at the time, and um, searched high and low for teachers, and found somebody and started to take watercolor classes. And then when I came back to Florida for the winter, um, I searched around, I went to galleries, looked in galleries uh, to see what kind of, uh, what really appealed to me. And one of the things that appealed to me the most was brilliant color and the use of the white paper. And so I tracked down uh, a teacher and started taking classes with him. So. Oh, great. And then five years later, he left and I was teaching. Wow. So, oh. I think he just, he was feeling very guilty about leaving. And um, he just threw a name at them so he wouldn't feel so bad leaving them in the lurch. So I knew absolutely nothing except I knew what I knew what I liked in teaching. So I just started very slowly and built a big class and big following. And I was challenged every week. I came up with something different. That was the stupidest thing I ever did. But anyway, that's how I started. And I painted a lot. I had a group of friends. We used to get together every Wednesday morning, no matter what. I mean, if God called, you didn't go for lunch. You know, you that was your time. And we all got together and encouraged each other. And that way, we just kept on painting. And I painted a lot. And that's the only way you get good. So, mm -hmm. And do you think your original great instruction that you received when you were young helped you in becoming a teacher? Or how did you learn the skills to I don't know where. Them? I hated school. Yeah. Um, I hated classes. I just loved watercolor. I think the use of color that I have, I use a lot of paint. I push the paint into the paper. That comes from painting in oils, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, no, I think I just honed my skills by over and over and over finding out what the you know, what the students wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seeing what they respond yeah. to the yeah. most. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. And I noticed that you do a lot of subjects. What we did was the boat when we did the daring color, and mm -hmm. um, then we did the mingled shadows on a wall with some green foliage and shutters. Right. Um, but I know you also do people, you do still life. I do. I so love, kind of I love whole... still lifes. I love flowers. Mm -hmm. I love anything with shadows. Mm -hmm. um, I paint ru old rusty machinery. I paint wood. I, I paint animals, a lot, a lot parrots and birds. Yeah, I do. Uh, well, see, that all comes from the teaching. They wanted a parrot or they wanted a person. And so I just kept taking pictures and 
um, teaching it. Do you feel so, like you can use the same techniques no matter what subject yes, you're doing? Yes, I do. I use the same techniques no matter what subject I do. Oh, that's really And neat. you know, I've gone over the years and taken workshops from different people and I, you know, I've picked up different things, but basically um, I took, uh, I have a wonderful friend in Florida by the name of Susanna Spann and a girl by the name of Karen Vernon in Texas really encouraged me and they've, they've been mentors and, and I find the watercolor community very open and welcoming and helpful and oh, they're, it's an exciting uh, second life I'm having. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes. And I know that you also sell some of your work. In fact, some of the, yeah, I'm in. I remember in the uh, Shadows video, you said that you only could find a couple original paintings that you had because most of them had yeah. sold. Do you oh, find gosh. that um, all of those subjects have that same appeal in the? Not, not really, but I do know that boats sell. Mm -hmm. And I know that if you live in uh, Florida, in the area where I am, uh, it's a, very much a vacation area and a lot mm -hmm. of Europeans come in and uh, everybody takes home memories. And you know, if the, the boat is named uh, uh, Cortez Kitchen, which is a restaurant right near us that people go to, they'll buy the boat as a memory. And it has to be small, fit in the suitcase. Same thing up in the mountains when I go up to North Carolina. They want, you know, barns and, and mountains and, and old uh, uh, country roads. And everybody buys memories. And then there's a whole area of uh, art that people buy to decorate their homes. And my silver and crystal, and I have a love for that because of being Canadian. I think it's, I'm American now, but I was born in Canada, and mm -hmm. they love China and crystal, and I just have a, you know, my Soft heart spot. is there mm -hmm. for that, so. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice, yeah. and it's great to hear about selling memories and that it yeah, just it makes a lot of sense. People yeah. take photographs yeah. for the same mm -hmm. reason. And they do. Why not have a painting? They do. Mm -hmm. And if you name your boats after something that's near them and that they relate to, mm -hmm. they're going to take it home. They're going to buy it. Good so. tip to keep in mind. And they also buy, as I said, to um, decorate their homes. So, mm -hmm. You know, if you're aware of the color choices that are out there right now in decorating, mm -hmm. um, you can paint to that too. Well, so good. Thank you so much for sharing more your than time welcome. with us. And oh, we've got lots of great memories from well, you we being were, here we, too. You were wonderful. It oh, really was. <laughs> it was a very wonderful experience. You too. Thank you, Northlight. You are okay. welcome. Thank you, everybody.